guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm showing you guys how to make a hat shop just like this inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is first create a folder inside of Replicate Storage, and we're gonna name this Hats. And inside of here, you're gonna add all the hats that you wanna include in your hat shop. All right, guys. So these are the three hats that I will be using. I got a party hat, top hat, and some dog hat. Now, what you guys want to do, make sure every time you do add your hats, you get them from Toolbox. You can make sure that they're, they're, you see this little hat icon um, beside them. That will make sure that these are actually hats and you, an avatar can wear them. Next, make sure that there are no scripts inside of each hat. So just like here, we don't have any scripts, so we're good. And the last thing you want to make sure that there are no spaces in the name. So this is the top how we're going to name it top hat without the space dog accessory is fine. I'm just going to name it to dog hat. It's way really simpler. And then this long cool party hat accessory is name it to party hat. And there we go. Now what you want to do is take all these hats. I'm going to drag them inside of the hats folder inside of replicate storage. All right, the next step is we're going to add a remote event inside of Replicate Storage. So we're going to name this to choose hats. Because we're going to use this remote event uh, to choose what hat um, will go on the player. All right, next, what we're going to do is make the GUI. So inside of start GUI, add in a screen GUI. Name this screen GUI to hat chooser inside of here we're going to add in a frame name this to main frame now let's quickly design our menu Alright guys, so what we're going to do now, once you have the main frame uh, edited, like customized the way you want, add in a title, that's again your choice if you want to, but the important part is we're going to go into main frame and we're going to add text buttons or image buttons. Um, Just pick any button, you can do an image button, you can, take a, you can separately take an image of each hat and then put them as the image ID or just simpler form just for the sake of the tutorial because we're going to make this short, I'm just going to make it a text button. It'll be the same thing, same scripts, just different uh, looks. That's basically it. Uh, so just going to quickly um, make sure it's even. There we go. What we're going to do is add text buttons. And we're going to quickly uh, rename these to none. So this is going to be none. This button is going to be that to remove all the hats. So if you have, let's say you select a hat and you want to remove it, you click this first button to remove the hat. And we're just going to quickly duplicate these. To like uh, three more because we have three hats. I'm gonna move them around. All right, guys. Once you have renamed these buttons, we're gonna quickly go customize them and add the text so we know which hat is which. All right, guys. So once you are done adding text to all your buttons, what we're gonna do now is an important step to all the buttons, all the hat buttons. So not the remove hat button, but every other button. We're gonna add uh, something called string of values. You want to add these to every hat button except the remove hat button. So every other hat button, so dog hat, top hat, and the party hat, we're going to add in a string value. And for the value, you're going to change it to the name. So what, if this is a dog hat, we're going to change this to whatever we named. So this is called dog hat here. We're going to change the value to dog hat. Exactly, exact spelling how we spelled it over here. And this is the reason why we don't we want to get rid of the space. Same thing for top hat. We're gonna we named it over here top hat. So we're gonna name this. Oh sorry, not the we're gonna change the value to top hat. And same thing for the party hat. Alright, once you're done that, we're gonna add in a local script inside of the frame, in the main frame. Add in a local script. And right, let's start scripting.
all right guys so that is the first creep uh done as i mentioned earlier if your uh, buttons are image uh or image buttons or text buttons it does not matter because in the script we do say that if it's an image button or a text button it'll do the same thing it'll still work you can uh have it as an image button or text a button that doesn't really matter the next thing what we're gonna do is go to server script service and we're gonna add in a script and this script's a bit bigger Alright guys, so that is the second script finished. What we're gonna do now is add in a quick um open and close part to his GUI. What we're gonna do for that is go inside of the at chooser. We're gonna add uh sorry the GUI, I'm gonna add in text button. And this is gonna be the close, the open and close button for this frame. Alright guys, so once you have customized your little button, what you want to do is go into hat chooser and inside the screen UI, add in a local script and we're going to start scripting once again. Alright guys, and that is the final script done. But let's make sure now it, that the uh, mainframe is visible. I mean, the visible is off. I'm gonna go test the game and see if it works. Guys, oh my God, bro! Oh, hell no, man! Alright guys, so we are in the game. Let's test this out. I don't know why my hair and everything is missing. Um, but okay, let's just quickly test this. Open shop. You can see it changes. The text to close shop we click that again or close that works remove all hats we can't do anything because we have nothing on we click the dog hat the dog hat will appear we remove that uh, let's do a top hat and then we can do a party hat and we're gonna remove all hats and there we go that's basically for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye